RBC has come out with a new report highlighting just how much aver how much income the average Metro Vancouverite would need just to cover the cost of home ownership. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more. And Tyler, it's uh, it's a lot of money from uh, what you'd be bringing home on your paycheck. Yeah, in fact, RBC is calling the figure dreadful for Metro Vancouver. This includes everything from mortgages to property taxes to utilities. And if we take a look at the boards here, we find that during the first three months of 2019, it would take 82% in Metro Vancouver of your household income that you would have to devote. And that's just for the aggregate uh, figures. That's for condos, townhouses. If you think about the detached home market, though, it's 112%. That is giant. Just for comparison, in Canada nationally, it's actually 51% for the aggregate number. So that's a huge gulf that we're facing compared with the rest of Canada. And RBC actually says that only one in eight families in Metro Vancouver are actually bringing in enough income to afford all the costs associated with home ownership. So all that said, these numbers, they're actually an improvement from the previous quarter. We've seen a drop of 1.9 percentage points, and it's the third straight time that we've seen such a drop. I just wonder if it's actually moving fast enough in the downward direction for more Canadians to actually be able to afford to own a home moving forward. It, it's a tough go right now. It absolutely is. All right, also a tough go for Ticketmaster, who um, is, or the company, being forced to pay a lot of fines. Yeah, the Competition Bureau is telling them they're going to have to pay $4.5 million, which includes $500,000 in investigation fees. This comes after the federal agency says that Ticketmaster's advertised prices were not attainable as Ticketmaster actually kept adding additional mandatory fees in the later stages of purchasing tickets online. Now, the Bureau found this practice to be misleading, despite the fact that Ticketmaster and other companies disclosed additional fees prior to the very final close of the transaction. Now, Ticketmaster, for its part, says it's committed to transparency, and it claims that nearly one year ago, it became the first ticket company in Canada to display full prices up front to consumers. But look, Sonia, I think this is definitely a situation we can all relate to, and here's hoping uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit more upfront moving forward, knowing how much we're going to have to pay for tickets. Yeah, it would relieve a lot of frustration. Uh, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver on this Friday. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you, Sonia.